ഡിയർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഇൻഫോ വെൽക്കം ടു ഓയിൽ ആൻഡ് ഓയിൽ ആൻഡ് ഗ്യാസ് ട്രെയിനിങ് സീരീസ് ഹാപ്പി ന്യൂ ഇയർ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് വൺ മന്ത് വി ആർ നോട്ട് ടേക്കിംഗ് അവർ വീഡിയോസ് റെഗുലർ വീഡിയോസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഐ വാസ് ഓൺ മൈ വെക്കേഷൻ സോ ഐ വാസ് ബിസി വിത്ത് സം അതർ പേഴ്സണൽ ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് സോ ഐ കുഡ് നോട്ട് മേക്ക് റെഗുലർ വീഡിയോസ് so welcome back our control valve uh, valve session videos valve series videos in this video we are discussing about the control valve an important valve using in oil and gas hydrocarbon or all other industries so welcome to this video control valves a control valve also known as an automatic control valve is a throttling valve but almost always equipped with some sort of actuator or actuation system that is designed to work within a control loop so throttling valve that is important on off valves are there isolation valves are there uh, if you remember our previous videos uh, many type of valves are there on off valve isolation valve non retain valve check valve so many other valves are there this word is uh, uh, a new word is a throttling valve you can move up and down uh, you can do on off but uh, mainly it is using for percentage wise opening that is important that is the word it is a throttling valve using an actuator it is a remote operating using a uh, different uh, actuator or actuation system so let us see how this valve is working uh, so here it, you can see that one a a vessel is there and a level transmitter we are we want to control the level of the uh, this particular vessel or maybe it is a pressure or temperature or flow or whatever it is you can see it is a control valve is here in the bottom and it is connected with a controller that is lc here and a transmitter here lt is here so this way lv is the control valve level control valve lc is the level controller and lt is a level transmitter so it's a control system so control valves are part of control system that is important that is important uh, i kindly request you to uh, review or watch type of valves plus uh, process instrumentation instrumentation around 10 videos are there in that one uh, deeply Uh, we are discussing about uh, more on control system and uh, control loop open loop and closed loop etc so control valve is a throttling valve control valve is a final control element in a process loop consisting a sensing device controller and final control element you can see here sensing device is here sensor here and sensor and transmitter together here and controller here this is the controller and the control valve is called the final control element that is a part of control loop this involvement with the control loop is what distinguishes control valve from other throttling valves so many other type of throttling valves may be there but uh, control valve is uh, distinguishes from other control valves like this one is a part of control loop manually operated valves and pressure regulators can stand alone in a throttling application while a control valve cannot hence the difference a control valve is a throttling valve but all but not all throttling valves are control valves that is the difference control valve is a throttling valve but not all throttling valves are not control valves control valve is a part of control loop in some cases a manually operator valve can be converted into a control valve with the addition of an actuation system and can be installed in a control loop that is possible so you can convert a manual valve also to a control valve using some additional uh, modification control valves are seen to two main sub assemblies the body assembly here the body assembly this part is a body assembly type of different type of valve uh, using that one and the upper side is a uh, actuation system positioner is there but in the total we can call a actuation system sub assembly and a actuation system this two part is there in this video in this video we are uh, we will concentrate on the operation design installation and maintenance of body assembly this area we are we are discussing 
in our later videos we are going to positioner and the actuator system but in this video we are focusing the bottom side because uh, in our previous video we discuss about the non return valve safety relief valve uh, pressure safety valve all other ball valve and manual valves etc so in this one control valve body assembly we are discussing control valve generally control valves are divided into four type globe butterfly ball and eccentric plug valve so in this uh, video uh, i am focusing on mainly globe type control valve its uh, uh, general peculiarities disadvantage and disadvantage and uh, design parameter if any then operational uh, concepts so this four item we are discussing in this video variation of, of these four type have resulted in dozens of diff, uh, different available design many four type main core design uh, types are there but thousands of other designs are there based on the core globe butterfly ball and plug wall each design has a specific application features advantages and disadvantages although some control valves have a wider application than others no control valve is perfect for all services and each design should be examined to find best solution at minimal cost so in this uh, uh, we are going to uh, concentrate on globe type control valves uh, on of all control valves the linear motion that is important linear motion means move up and down rotating motion means uh, move horizontally so linear motion so globe valve is coming under the category of linear motion also called a rising stem globe valve is the most common due in part to its design simplicity versatility of application easy of maintenance and ability to handle a wide range of pressures and temperature so globe control valve is the most common control valve using in process industry the globe valve is the most commonly found control valve in the process industry although demand is not as great with the advent of high performance rotary valves which offer lower cost and smaller packages size for size so compared to rotary valves there is some disadvantages are there still it is the globe valve is the globe type control valve is the most commonly using control valve in process industry globe control valve information is continuing uh, unlike rotary valves globe valves can remain in the line during internal maintenance see that is important eh? unlike rotary valves globe valve can remain in the line during internal maintenance that is very important for this reason globe valves are preferred in power industry where steam application require the welding of the valve into the pipeline so most of the power industry a steam application where we are using a globe type control valve <clears throat> by definition a globe valve is a linear motion valve characterized by globe style body here you can see globe style body with long face to face dimension that accommodate smooth rounded flow passages you can see here see globe uh, type uh, trim is there that is seating facility is there the flow is coming from here and turning 90 degree and again turning 90 degree go up and down the rising stem is connected the trim is going up and down closing element is moving up and down to uh, maintain the valve closing or uh, opening position and in the case of control valve it is uh, percentage wise opening slowly will open and uh, until the uh, Uh, closing uh, opening 100% fully open position or fully closed position the most common regulating element is single seat design that is important here is the single seat is design picture you can see that one which operate the linear fashion in linear fashion and is found in middle of the body here you can see that one single seat uh, double seat uh, designs are there that is uh, advanced design we are not going to that design uh, in this video we will just general information on the design parameters we are looking the advantage of globe controls are many hence their overall popularity generally globe valves are quite versatile and can be used in a wide variety of services 
the same valve can be used in dozens of different applications as long as the pressure and temperature limits are not exceeded and the process does not require special alloys to combat corrosion. So most of the cases we can use not for very extreme pressure temperature differences, maybe limitations are there, but still uh, most of the cases we can use a globe control wall in a process industry. <coughs> the versatility allows the for reduction of spare parts for inventory and maintenance uh, training. So that is also important for uh, globe walls. Uh, less maintenance you can say. The, their simple linear motion design permits a wide range of modification than other wall style. Simple, so wide uh, sub, sub designs, sub modifications can make that one. Low walls are capable of high performance and are used in application where such performance is mandatory. So that is the uh, important uh, advantage for globe walls. Another major advantage is using globe valve is their ability to withstand process extreme like extreme pressure and less pressure difference and pressure differential and temperatures condition and other uh, uh, setback on the process industry, a globe valve can withstand. They are designed to work extremely high pressure drop, handling pressure differentials of 1000 pounds of pressure, see that is important, high, high pressure drop and uh, high pressure difference of uh, 1000 pounds of pressure. Globe wall can be designed to handle high pressure classes by increasing the wall thickness of the body and use, using heavy duty flanges, bolting and internal parts. Many modifications uh, uh, can use in high pressure classes using extra uh, high wall thickness plus heavy duty flanges, bolting and internal parts. Another uh, important advantage of a globe control valve is that can, it can have a flow characteristic designed into the trim or regulating element itself unlike butterfly valves whose design only allows an inherent characteristics. If you remember that one in the beginning of the valve we studied flow characteristic many type in that one of is inherent. So rotary valves are limited on inherent characteristic but uh, here globals uh, trim can modify in various shape and we can make it different type of flow characteristic we can make it from this one that is a big advantage using a control application <laughs> the main disadvantage of some some disadvantage also we can highlight in globals are that size for size they are larger heavier and more expensive than rotary valves that is one disadvantage. So, of course, costly. Another disadvantage is that globe wall are, walls are restricted by significant stem forces required by throttling process. So, that is in the uh, uh, actuator is uh, pushing that the actuator system should be uh, uh, carefully designed that one the significant force from the top we have to use. But in case of rotary wall, we saw horizontally moving. Uh, maybe it is uh, uh, less uh, forces we have to actuator system may be easily can design. Globe walls with the pneumatic actuators are restricted to size smaller than 24 inch or 36 inch with hydraulic or electrotic, uh, electro hydraulic actuator. So that is a, a limitations are there for uh, globe wall. Still it is uh, most commonly using in process industry. Some information from the design area, a globe wall design. In describing the design elements of a globe wall, the globe wall body is the main pressure retaining portion. Globe wall body that this area, this is the body area. You can say here the actuator system is coming. Pressure retaining portion of the globe wall, which has matching end connection of the piping and also encloses the trim here, this area. This is the body area you can say. The flow passages in a globe valve are designed with a smooth rounded walls without any sharp corners or edges thus providing a smooth process flow without creating unusual turbulence or noise. You can see here this area, no sharp turning and that one. So making that one a smooth flow without creating unusual turbulence or noise. 
So this area, seating area, closing element and coming and the flow opening area you can say. The flow passages themselves must be of constant area avoiding creating any additional pressure losses and higher velocities. Globe walls bodies are adaptable to nearly every type of end connection except flangeless design. Obviously, with a long face-to-face -face dimension, the long bolting required between two pipe flanges would be subject to thermal expansion during temperature cycle. So, that is also uh, obviously long face-to-face -face uh, dimension, the long bolting required between two pipe flanges would be subject to thermal expansion. So, considering that one in the thermal expansion of uh, uh, different temperature cycle. So, globe control valve operation side some informations are uh, available. The most common globe valve uses T-style body which allows the valve to be installed in a straight pipeline, straight pipe with top works or actuator perpendicular to the line and will be used to explain the basic operation of a globe valve. You can see here, the, in, in this area, actuator is perpendicular to the opening and the closing element. Flow is coming and going like this one. It is, uh, stem is moving, the trim system and the closing element is seating arrangement is here. So, the flow will come here and turning and going that one. Flow enters through the inlet port to the center of the valve where the trim is located here. The trim is located. At this point, the flow must make a 90 degree turn. Here you can see it come 90 degree turn uh, to flow through the seat. 90 degree turn to the flow to the seat, through the seat. Followed by another 90 degree turn uh, before exiting the valve through the outlet port. So, from here it is another 90 degree turn and going back to uh, the system. So, that is all about uh, uh, control valve body. Remember that one we did not uh, include that one uh, positioner system or actuator system. So, upper side of a control valve. Uh, we will continue that one. We will add in later videos uh, that system. But uh, right now we are focusing on the control valve type body. In that, uh, uh, in the first control valve session, the first one is a globe type control valve that we have completed today and uh, next one is coming a uh, rotary type, not a linear type, rotary type control valve. You can look at that one here, uh, butterfly control valve plus uh, another one is uh, ball type control valve, one more is there, plug type control valve. So, in um, my coming next videos will concentrate on butterfly control valve or plus uh, ball type control valve. Those are, uh, those are uh, both of them are uh, rotary valves. So, we will complete that one. Once we finish the control valve body uh, design operation and uh, peculiarities, advantages, uh, disadvantages, then we will focus on uh, here in the upper side of uh, actuator system and uh, positioner system. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please, uh, as usual, please subscribe this channel if you like this video and uh, join our uh, telegram channel uh, info by infos by Hamsa Vibhava. Thank you very much. Have a good day.